We're going to do a video today. It's been a while since we've done a video. Sorry about that. We've been on holiday and also Tom has retired so it's just me and Kate today. We're going to do a video today how to take the seats out of a Land Rover Defender. Um, why are we doing that? Well one it will help you if you're recovering or just messing about but we are going to show you in another video later in the week how to fit some new bucket seats to the Defender. So here we go, let's make a start. Kate's got the camera. Right, so I, a lot of this is simple, some of it is more complicated. We'll just do the whole video so you can yeah, do it if you wish. Right, so the seat base lifts up quite easily. So what you've got is you've got these little pegs sticking out each side that dock in these little plastic little docky bits there. If I put my hand behind you can see that's the same on each side. And then at the back I've coloured some bits orange on here. So you can see they've got two little docking stations which these two little pins here dock into. Dead easy, nothing complicated about that. Good, right. The seat itself is held in with four bolts. Okay, right then. So if you pull up the reclining mechanism, you can see you've got two at the front. So we'll whip these out. We've got a 10 millimeter socket on here. Okay. Okay, they're not too tight. We've had these out. We cheated so we can hopefully whip these out fairly quickly. Now these shouldn't get too rusty these because they're only going into a little... So there we go. There's the bolt. All four of them are the same. Right, so that's the front two out, the easy two. Then what we've got to do is pull up the handle and slide the seat that's moving all over the place forwards. Then we've got to pull up the recliner. Oh, gosh. Right. And then if you have a peek in the back there, Kate, you should be able to see the two on the ends of the runners, the two orange bolts. Obviously, your bolts won't be orange unless it's rust. We can probably see that one there easy enough, can't we? Mm -hmm. okay. so he's not too tight. There we go. What's the other one? And then the last one is in the same position. He's a bit tighter. Right, what we'll go on to show you is how to actually strip the rest of the seat mechanism down completely, which could be useful. Um, there are some recovering kits around. So there's the last one. So now we are ready to lift the seat up and bring him out. Okay, so there's the seat out. Now if we want to go on and strip the seat down, which we will do now, the next thing, um, well basically let's just have a quick tour of the seat. It's, right, so we've got these three orange uh, crosshead bolts going into the slider mechanism. Um, so we've got to do that. But to get one of these bolts, particularly on the recliner side, it's a real pain. Let me, let me put him up. Because you can't get down through into this bolt here. There's no way from the top. So we're going to remove, if you can see them there, those two orange bolts, that one there and that one there, um, and remove the back so we can get to all these bolts and do it all nice and easy. So we're just going to 10mm spanner, 10mm socket, and we're going to undo these two here. Okay. Right, I'm going to put those back together. So there's a, a locking nut, a nylock nut. Tom used to call those stiff nuts, but any, whichever description that suits you. Right now, I think it was easier to get to when I pulled the recliner. There. And now most Defender people, all this stuff is normal stuff, so it might not be that exciting, but some people could be handy enough. Right then, he's grabbed and bolt. There we go. Right, so pop that out. Okay. Now that one is a little bit shorter. Um, so you've got a short one and a long one, and I guess that's because, yeah, the short one only goes through one thickness of metal, and that longer one there, you see how it goes through that? Thicker metal there, there's like a spacer. So there you go, if you just have a look at those, Kate, 
There's a short one and a long one there. Right, so that's now the back of the seat off. Okay, so we're getting it down into its component parts. Okay. Right, now we are left with this base here. Let me grab a screwdriver. Okay, right, here we go. So what we're going to go on to do now is remove these three screws. Now, we've, you can now see we've got access to that one through there. And if we got access to that one now, yep, yeah, we've got access to that one. So let's remove these three. Again, these shouldn't really be too tight. Okay, now these are all the same length. They're sort of a counter sunk top to them. So they sit in. Okay, two. Spin it round. One. Two. Mm -hmm. yeah, when you put these back together, it's probably worth putting some grease on them if you're or some copper grease if you're reassembling. So there's the six. And that should now allow us to lift off. Now, we can't quite lift it off, we can, um, but what's holding the front on is these little plastic fittings here. So that's that's that whole assembly. Now they are sided these, so because of the recliner mechanism, the driver's side and the passenger side are different. Okay, obviously this one here is out the left hand side, which in the UK is our passenger side. Right. What are we up to now? What are we up to now? Yes, these plastic bits. So these plastic bits, if you lift up this back end, they should whoop, pop out. So what you've got there, sideways on, you've got this, and this is what holds the front of the seat base in, the front bar slots into here. And this little section here goes into the end of this tube, like so. And it's important when you reassemble, there's like this little slopey bit here. Can you see that from that angle, Kate? Yeah. And what that does is this puts in and goes and you need to push that down into there okay so we've got two of those so we're just gonna for safekeeping we'll put those in there actually it'll stay, it'll stay safe there right and then one last thing you can do um, sometimes this might go wrong is this little spring we can actually we can remove, remove this spring now this spring does two purposes it serves two purposes and speak properly right the first thing is it prov provides the spring back to, to return the locking mechanism that you pull up back down again. Um, the other thing it does, it actually keeps this front bar on. It's quite a nice bit of design really. And if I just use this sort of bent screwdriver puller, you can pull them, let me just push it out. Of, I'll just lever it out. It should, there you go. Now, and if you look, what that does is it actually holds, I can now pull that out. So can you see there, let me put my, see that little groove there? Oh, look at this, my pro pointer. Look there. So that little groove there, what the spring does is it slots in through that groove there and aligns with that so that when those two are put in place, it actually... So make sure when you're putting it back together that you've got those two lined up there so that the spring forms a join between these two. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't think I explained that very well. Um, and then the same thing happens side as well we can in fact just if we can just pull it up or probably as easy just to lever it out there okay right okay like so so that is um the seat in its various component parts so you can service this you can grease these up um you can recover your seats and the reassembly should be self-explanatory the only bit that will be a bit tricky on the reassembly is, is doing this um, mechanism here. But again, the best way of doing that is just slot it over and then use the use this little hook tool I've got here just to sort of fish him up like that and just push him in. Okay, good luck with that.